Students and scholars, um, my name is Stephen Wang and one of the executives of the Global Scholars Symposium. And this is my wonderful uh, fellow executives. And uh, it's my pleasure on behalf of the executive and all of the directors to um, be able to close this conference. On Friday, um, each one of you came from different places, different universities, different scholarships, um, different countries. And we came together and descended upon the Cambridge Union to have one of the one wonderful experiences to try to fulfill this mission of the GSS to try to get global scholars to tackle some of the big problems of our time. Over the past three days, you heard some of the most intellectually rigorous questions about the limits of equality, uh, about how we can adapt to the new circumstances of our times, about the meaning of democracy, and about what development and what change actually means. You've also had the chance to be serenaded by the King's College Choir Chapel, uh, go punting in the rivers in Cambridge, I uh, listened to some strange British humor, which I heard about milk, and uh, network professionally until four in the morning at a club called The Place. So, um, and you know, in some ways, we probably didn't come up with all of the solutions yet to the world's biggest problems. But uh, what we have done through these workshops, seminars, and fireside chats is probably asking the right kind of questions. Questions like, who are the people that we're fighting for? You know, how can I be useful? How can I make the impact and the change that I want to see? How can I just, you know, and this is not mine, to borrow one of our delegates' question, how can I not just be a leader of a community, but also a member of it? So maybe it's these kind of questions, along with the people you've met at this conference, that's allowed you to sort of gain something meaningful. But certainly, uh, you know, it's not just the five of us who've been able to help make this happen. We've had an incredible team, and uh, we just want to take this moment to acknowledge, uh, first of all, the directors, uh, who I saw them dozing off a little bit ago because they haven't slept at all during these past three days. Um, could I just ask to stand up uh, Daniel with logistics, uh, Katie for social, <laughs> Melissa for media, Tracy and for IT, and then Sebastian. You guys have been incredible, and Josh the speakers. Thank you guys so much for all the hard work. And Andrew, thank you guys so much. The conference has been so smooth and organized, it's because of these guys. But then we also have an also incredible layer of organizing committee members who have been so dedicated. So if you guys, any of you have been involved in being part of the conference organizing, could you please stand up so that we can acknowledge you and thank you for your hard work, including Alice and everybody else. Please stand up. Thank you guys. And I'd like to thank some other important members of, first of all, Clive and, uh, and Geraldine. Can we stand up and just take a brief moment of your time? Look at this wonderful board back there. The hard work they've done with Talk and Draw, absolutely incredible. Dave, 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 yeah. Just Dave, right? And as well as uh, our Cambridge Union staff. Uh, we can see Alec back there, incredible gentleman of class, and uh, making all of this happen. You'll see this one day on YouTube and see your beautiful faces, so be nice to him. We have um, <laughs> James, Joe, uh, Barnaby, Matt, Tim, and a man called Bursar. I think that's all his name, so. <laughs> and thank you all so much, the Cambridge Union, for this hard work. And uh, 
for those of you who jo enjoyed the, the party last night, we've got a special props to uh, Alice back there. Thank you so much for making it all happen. And as well as uh, we've got Pedro and, and, Noah. and Noah up there as well for, for the workshops. You guys have been incredible as well. So uh, thank you guys again. And of course, uh, um, uh, I would be uh, remiss to miss, uh, mention the Gates Cambridge Trust, the Clarendon Fund, and of course our, our main benefactor, John McCall campaign for all of her financial contributions. So I hope you guys will be signing the book so that uh, we'll be able to come back to the conference next year. So, <laughs> thank you so much. Well. Um, so just to briefly wrap up, um, I wanted to come back to something that Toby said at the beginning of the conference about taking ownership for this conference and things beyond. And, you know, partly what I'm suggesting is that this journey doesn't just end here, but it begins here. And uh, so two exciting announcements I have in addition to the Global Scholars Network is that in September, along with the 110th anniversary of the, of the Rhodes Scholarship, in Oxford, we'll be having a mini Global Scholar Symposium in middle of September in Oxford, and all of you are welcome uh, to come. And secondly, uh, we are now officially uh, opening the applications for the Executive Committee for the 2014 uh, Global Scholar Symposium. And again, all of you are welcome to apply, and uh, you can apply as teams or individuals, and uh, you have about three weeks to put together something good. So uh, make it what you want. But lastly, if I could just uh, leave off with a little quote, it's one of my favorite of all time, uh, by Robert Kennedy. He said that each time a man stands up for an ideal, or acts to improve the lot of others, or strikes out against injustice, he sends out a tiny ripple of hope, crossing each other from a million different centers of energy and daring. And those ripples build a current which can sweep down the mightiest walls of oppression and resistance. And coming back to where we are today, thinking about the next 30 years, maybe like Westmore said, you know, we don't have to figure out where we have to be, what we have to do exactly in the next 30 years. But if we can think hard about the questions about what we care about, what our mission is, and what our values are, those are the kind of things that will guide us. And if we have faith in those, as Tim Hunt said, those simple dopey things that might actually work out, then maybe we can do this. But most importantly, I feel like each one of us here is a little ripple. And like Robert Kennedy said, if we can come together as we have together, and it's no longer just a conference, but a community, and we're thinking about these questions together, um, then maybe we'll be able to do something really great for the world. And so I challenge you with this question in the end, what will our generation leave behind? Thank you so much, guys. We'll see you next time. guys so I just want to add one quick thing because I think the exec forgot to thank someone very important which is themselves because that would be a little awkward <laughs> so I just want to say a huge thank you on behalf of the directors and on behalf of the entire organizing team because they inspired us to take this conference to a whole new level and because of them we inspired our teams and I think this was a great great conference so thank you so much to all of you we really appreciate it